All right, so you guys clicked on this video because you want to know more about UCI. It's either that or you are back again because you want to watch another entertainment video. That's crazy. Either way, I'm going to be answering frequently asked questions about UCI. So make sure you guys stay to the end of the video to get all of your questions answered. All right, first things first, I'm Kazim and I'm a second year computer science major at UCI. Um, why am I doing computer science? Because I'm doing it for the money. Why else? Now I'm just playing. I actually have a passion in computer science and computer programming. I am only a second year at UC Irvine and I do enjoy it a lot, but I will say it is what you make of it. So I have my laptop on me and it has, of course, questions for you guys that I'm gonna answer. How is the campus at UCI? I personally think that the campus is really, really nice, y'all. I'm the type of person that likes to, you know, be out. I want to actually enjoy what I'm looking at as I'm going to classes or just going somewhere to eat, anything like that. I want to actually have a really nice place to just look at. And UCI is honestly a really beautiful place. We have Aldrich Park, which is like pretty much in the middle of everything. And it's a huge park. We have all of the classes all around it. And one, it's convenient because if you're trying to get to class, you can cut through. And two, it's a really nice place to just walk and chill. At least for me, it lived up to my expectation for what a nice college campus should look like. So what are classes like at UCI? So typically for classes, you will have it three times a week or you have it twice a week. For the classes that are twice a week, it's gonna be like an hour and 20. And then if it's three times a week, it's gonna be 50 minutes. Honestly, just it depends on what class you enroll in when you schedule your classes, but that's basically what it is. Aside from that, there are some classes that are like really long that you might have like once per week that's three hours or you will sometimes have a lab that's really long just depending on what major you are so is uci fun i enjoy myself personally because i feel like it's really what you make of it you have to go out there and you have to be engaged and once you're doing all of the things that you like to do that's when you'll start to have fun if this is the first time you're stepping into a college space and it's all new to you i would say to get involved in those activities so that you can experience you know what you like and what you don't like and in the process i feel like you're going to have fun sorry i didn't quite catch that could you please repeat it I was not talking to you, Siri. I'm gonna just speak truthfully for me. I think that it is pretty easy to make friends. I personally, you know, I'm more reserved. If you are willing to get involved and, you know, make that first step or just, you know, talk to people even, I think that it's definitely going to be um, pretty easy to make friends, if you ask me. How is it for black people at UCI? It's a very low population. It's 2%, like any university really unless you're going to hbcu the black community at uci is pretty strong you have a black resource center which i think is a really cool place for, to just mingle with different black people you feel me i'm there like three times out of the week just in between my classes and i feel like it's very useful because you know they offer different resources for you and it's very nice to just see you know a lot of black people in one space so freshmen typically live in the two main housing communities you have mesa court and you have middle earth i personally did not live in any of those i lived in arroyo vista my first year and the only reason why is because i lived in a black scholars house i wouldn't take that back for anything i think it was a great experience overall living in a house full of black people definitely if you live in mesa or middle earth those are great options as well and the plus side to living in those housing communities is you're right next to the dining hall so as opposed to living in arroyo vista where it's kind of like you have to travel a little bit to get to the dining hall so the food at uci let me just tell y'all right now i love to eat and that's something you definitely gonna find out on this channel this food is satisfying compared to a lot of other colleges the food is decent, like you're well taken care of. <clears throat> Brace yourself. We got In-N-Out, we got Chick-fil-A, we got Jack in the Box, we got Chipotle, we got Taco Bell, we got, I can't even think, we have sushi, we have, um, we have ramen, we have this, we have that. UCI's food is all over the place, like we have a lot of food close by, and if you have your car on campus, you can drive. 10-15 minutes to get even more food. Aside from those, we also have the dining halls. Our two dining halls are the Ant Eatery, and then we opened up a new one called Brandywine. My first year, there was a dining hall called Pippin's. That's no longer there. Jersey Mike's, Buffalo Spot, Del Taco. It's pretty, it's a long list of food that are all nearby the campus. Subway, and then we have like three different Starbucks on campus for all y'all 
coffee drinkers. So another cool thing is we have concerts at UCI. As of right now, Audridge Park After Dark, I believe is what it's called. And then we have Summerlands. So we also had this thing called Shocktoberfest, but currently it's been looking like it's been canceled lately because of a long story, but that's a story for another day. So yeah, we do have those two concerts. So that's always something that's really cool to look forward to. Another nice thing is that we're right next to the beach. So Newport, Laguna, we're very, very close to those beaches. And that's always nice to just be able to, you know, go to the beach if you're just trying to get something off your mind. If you're trying to look at the ocean, dip your toes in the water, you feel me? It's always nice to do that. And like, as far as traveling, Irvine is like kind of in the middle of everything. So like, if you want to go to Los Angeles, it's like an hour and 30 minutes. If you want to go to San Diego, it's going to be like, you know, two to three hours, just depending really. It's just nice that we're in the middle because if you do like to, you know, travel out and go different places besides just being at your school, you still have that option to do so. And it's not going to be that far, you know? There are a variety of clubs that you can join on campus. Like there's a ridiculous amount that you can join. And if you don't like any of them, let's just say you don't like any of the clubs, you can even create your own. So it's really kind of endless when it comes to like what you can join at UCI because I'm pretty sure they have a club for like everything. That's also a great way to get involved, make new friends, and to find your community at UC Irvine if that's where you're going. We also have like this involvement fair in the beginning of the year, fall quarter, where it's in Audridge Park. Once again, I'm telling you, good old Audridge Park. During fall quarter, we have week zero, and that's pretty much where you have the opportunity to get used to things. They have clubs, activities, they have everything going on that's kind of like welcoming you into UCI and it's like saying, okay, you can get involved in these. If you like this, here's this. There's Greek life on campus if that's where your portion is. As far as parties go, I can't really speak too much on that because you see, the parties at UCI, if you're not in a sorority or fraternity, I feel like it's going to be a little bit hard for that party life situations but at the same time it's like honestly what you make of it because there could be parties in the surrounding area if that's something that you guys are super interested in UCI is not a party school where it's like parties announced every single week so if that's what you're expecting this ain't the place for you i'm sorry to break it to you i said i was using my laptop i'm really using my phone that's crazy um the weekends at uc irvine are busy so I don't know if people think like it's just all party, party, party. The weekends are really busy. And that's one thing that I realized really quickly. The weekends are literally used, for me at least, the weekends are used to do homework and do, to catch up on homework and do my projects, everything. It's like, before I know it, it's Monday. That's really what the weekends are like. Obviously, you can, you know, take breaks, have fun, go to a basketball game, do something like that. But weekends are typically really busy um the basketball games are cool i will say that those i think are one of the one of the fun type of things to do i talked about the involvement fair we also have like career fairs spread out throughout the year so if you're looking for a job or if you're just trying to get ahead so that you can get a job we have different career fairs where people come prepared i'm telling you they'll come in suits ties dresses all of that and they're ready to secure a job where a whole bunch of companies will come out and you have the opportunity to talk to every single one of them and depending on how early you get there to really interact and get to know more about um, different companies and even try and secure a job on the spot and i definitely am going to take more advantage of those my next year not this year because corona um next fairs for internships as well not just like jobs if you're looking for internships as far as like difficulty and stuff like that College is hard. I'm not even going to cap to y'all. College is hard. Time management, I think, is the my number one uh, thing. Making sure that you are able to, you know, learn and do well and still have time to have a social life and balance. I think it's time management is what I would say. There are difficult classes. There are easier classes. But you just kind of adjust the workload and you become... An adult. If I didn't answer the question, if you leave a comment down below, I'm going to answer it. Like nine times out of ten, I'm gonna answer it. A specific question for you. So if you have anything that you want to ask me, leave it down below. Uh, Cause I know there are like a lot of questions that 
are pertaining to UCI and my channel. Also, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to this channel because I post entertaining videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe and join the dream team. Thank you guys so much for watching. If y'all ever see me on campus and I say hi, then that's gonna be real fake. You feel me? Like you better say what's up. It's not nothing. We all we all trying to be friends out here. We all trying to mingle. You feel me? Just say what's up and I'm gonna say what's up back. Alright, y'all, peace out.